Hi there. So if you've uh, heard some of my other videos, you might be aware that I'm fond of saying, don't write a research paper, do research and write a paper about your research. It's, it makes it everything so much easier than trying to do research while you're writing. But when you do get to the point of writing and you need to pull in other types of reference material, if you're using Mendeley to store your PDFs and you're trying to use it or you're using it as a citation manager, you can actually do some searching from within Mendeley. So at the top left of your screen, there is literature search. And if you click on this, you'll see that it will take you to Mendeley's catalog of academic literature. And so this is only what's in Mendeley. And so what's really important here is that you wouldn't want to use this for a systematic review. But for anything that goes in your introduction for your review, if you're looking for some kind of statistics or otherwise, this would be a good place to do a quick look. Oh, I need to find that so and so or such and such paper. So what you do need to do, you've got a single bar here. Um, so I'm writing right now on continuing education and patient outcomes. So if I just take that, put my little Boolean term in there, no quotes, no parentheses, no nothings, it's going to search for a little bit and find 2729 articles. If I went into um, uh, either uh, Eric and Academic Search Premier or I went into PubMed, I probably would find a whole lot more like in the 6000 range. But this would be a good way for me to just pull in something to say, oh my gosh, I need to find something on... Um, uh, let's say faculty development and interprofessional um, practice, let's say. Now, what you want to think about as you're just kind of pulling in these materials is, um, number one, it's, uh, it's a little bit slower than, um, than other uh, citation managers, not even my internet um, connection because I've tried this on two different computers. But what's going to happen when you do this type of search of the Mendeley catalog, only the Mendeley catalog, is I clicked on this reference, look over here to the right. The document's not in my library, so I can save the reference, but it's the research catalog entry for this paper. It's got the year, it doesn't have some of the other information, so that's a little bit of a concern. But the other thing is no tags and also no PDF. It doesn't give me full text. So you wanna make sure that you don't just think you have this here, um, if you're going to use it as a reference, make sure that you create some kind of folder maybe that's you know citations only and not PDFs and not uh, the articles themselves so that you don't think you have something that you don't have, if that makes any sense at all. Um, but uh, another thing with um, using the literature search is you can actually do some of the same features that you would do any place else, which is using quotes to say continuing education and patient outcomes, or we could say patient health outcomes, let's say. And so our previous search gave us about 2,700 articles. If I search for this, it's giving me 468. So that's a little bit more manageable. So just always making sure that you're being specific about what you're looking for, and that's going to help you find what you're looking for. Um, with our big topic of continuing education, we also are getting every article that offer CE for somebody who reads it. So that's <laughs> giving us a bit of kittens. Anyway, so that's how you use the literature search. So just reminding yourself that it's only the Mendeley catalog. It's good for quick searches to kind of add to your citation list, but you eventually will have to take uh, what you find, go, uh, and you could probably use EndNote Quick for that, but go find uh, the actual full text of the article so you can really use it as a reference. So I hope this was helpful. Happy researching.